Hey y'all, it's me, Slave by Jordan. I should have put you somewhere with no one find you. Mansion on these streets with nothing around you. Katie, Texas, Dallas, Texas, you know I'm different environment. Cause you had desires. I know, I know, I know. All right, y'all, we are working with Asteria hair today. Let's look at the goodies that they sit inside the packaging. This is a 32 inch straight 13 by 4 HG lace 250% density wig. This hair is super silky, super soft. The lace is super thin. It's plucked to perfection and the knots come already bleached, baby. Tens across the board. Shout out to Asteria Hair. We are back with my beautiful muse, Burr. We're going to get this install started. Off camera, I did not pluck this wig, you all. I just bleached the knots just a little bit more, but I did not pluck this wig whatsoever. This is the pluck fresh from the company. Like I said, this wig comes out the box ready, like ready to slay. I've already positioned the wig on her head, and I'm just cutting out those ear tabs before I sew it down. As you can see, I've already applied the glue in the shape of her hairline and now I'm just smoothing it back. Make sure that you smooth it back as evenly as possible and that each layer turns clear before you apply the next. We did four layers today, but I'm just going to show you me doing this one half side. That last layer has turned clear, so now it's time to lay that lace down. Now we're going to blow dry the hair, interchange it between warm and cool air for about a minute using the teeth of the comb to help us push that lace into the skin. Now that we're done blow drying, we're going to go ahead and part her off and then clip her hair up and tie it down with our milk band for about 10 minutes. Her 10 minutes are up, so now we're going to take that melt band off and we're going to proceed to cut off that excess lace. And now let's do those same steps on the other side.
are y'all seeing this? Like, really, like, get into that lace. Like, there is no lace. This is literally her scalp. Like, honey, that lace melted down. We ain't even fully melted it yet, but we don't even have to. Now I'm taking my wax stick and we're just going to make sure that her part is directly in the center of her head. And then we're going to hot comb that down to get everything flat. Now, if you don't want to do baby hairs, you can just take some hairspray and an edge brush and just slick everything back and continue on with your styling. But today she did want baby hairs, so we are going to do two on each side. So I'm just parting out the hairs for that right now. And then we're just going to braid them out the way. I like to use my wax stick and my hot comb behind the baby hairs just to slick everything behind the baby hairs out the way and you know, get it real sleek. Like I've said in previous videos, if your lace is already pretty much melted, you don't need to use the high hole hairspray. Make sure you're using a light hole or a flexible hole hairspray. And today we're using our straight request hair flex. We're gonna spray that from a distance all over her hairline. And then we're gonna tie that down with our melt band. Make sure whenever you're spraying these laces with these hairsprays, you spray from a distance because if you get the lace too wet, sometimes it cannot work in your favor. So just do that. I left that band on for about five to seven minutes and I took it off. And as you can see, we are melted down, honey. And we're getting to doing our baby hairs. I'm just cutting them with my eyebrow razor. I'm gonna curl them upwards with our um, Red by Kiss pencil flat irons. And then we're just gonna start swooping them into place. We're using the only foam I use for my baby hairs, the Influence Honey Almond Styling Foam. And we're just gonna swoop those baby hairs into place. And once we get them to our desired liking, we're gonna tie them down with about two to three wrap strips and we're gonna proceed with styling. To press this hair out today, we'll be using our Beyond the Zone Turn Up the Heat Spray, spraying from a distance on each section. And we'll be flat ironing this hair on 450 degrees. And you just want to make sure that you use the chase method to get the ultimate straightness and take smaller sections.
Look at the luster and the silkiness in this hair. Shout out to Asteria Hair. Bomb wigs every single time. Get into that quality. They are not playing, y'all. Her baby hairs are done drying, so we're just gonna cut those wrap strips off and show you the baby hairs just raw from just being freshly dry. Of course, we're gonna customize them off camera, but even before the customization, they was laid, honey. Get into those baby hairs, y'all. We back on our little baby hair move, you know. I be, it just depends on my mood. I be with the baby hairs and sometimes I don't. But today I was like, let's bust you down and get used to baby hairs. Anyways, now I'm using my Clairol Root Touch-Up Pen in the color black just to make that part more um, skinnier and more defined and not so wide. And then we're also going to take some powder and put it directly in the middle of the part just to make it pop some more. And then we're going to spray some high hole hairspray on that just to seal it off and lock it into place. Make sure you blow dry this on high or cool air, whatever you prefer. But just make sure that everything is dry so nothing is transferred. And now let's get into that final look. And once again, you all, shout out to Asteria Hair. Make sure you check the description box below for more information and links on how to purchase this wig. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye. I love y'all.